Hey guys, it's Carrie, and I'm back with another unboxing. Um, so today we're unboxing some more Capsule Chicks. This is the brand new series. Uh, this is the Shimmer Surge Collection. It says that there is, you, you can build your own mix and match fashion doll, and it does say somewhere, in, oh, well, there's 30 plus pieces inside. Where do I, oh yeah, right here. It says over 4 billion looks to create, and then there's a star, and it says across series 1. So I'm a little bit confused. Is this series 1, is this part of series 1, and then it was just released in the next wave? Or is this uh, the series 1 of the Simmer, Simmer Surge? So I, I don't really know. All I know is that it, it claims to be Series 1. So, Series 1 Shimmer Surge. I think this Shimmer Surge might just be another collection within Series 1. Uh, but they gave us they gave us a hair upgrade. Uh, so, there's an extra attachment to this box with a girl that's shown. Uh, as far as I know, there's three different girls. I figured out this whole pattern thing here. So, there's three different girls... Uh, this is the last one I will be unboxing. And, okay, so I'll show you in the book. I figured the book out, too. There's three different girls you can get, and within the three different girls, you have a possibility of finding a boy or two other girls. So, with a girl we've already opened, if you guys haven't checked those videos out, check them out. Um, so with this girl, you have the opportunity of getting one of these three as the mystery one. Uh, the boy at the end is the one we found. With this girl, uh, you have an opportunity of, of uh, finding one of these threes. Uh, and we end up finding the first girl here. And then here's our third girl, which we have right in front of us. And it says, who will you find? So you either can find the boy at the end or one of the first two girls. I like them all. Um, I'd say in line for what I'm hoping to find is either the boy at the end first the first the, ugh, is the first one I want to find because he's very gothy and he's got a kilt on and that's or a gothic kilt and it's so awesome to me uh, or the girl with the cool hat in the front that's cool too I don't know if that's gonna be an add-on hat or if that's gonna be part of the wig we'll figure that out and then of course the th the one in the middle is my third pick but I'm gonna be happy with either one any three of them because we know we're gonna not get a double. Uh, than what we've already gotten. So let's get this plastic off here. We'll take a look at our girl, our first girl first, and then we'll we'll start our mystery crank. She's actually not really my favorite now that I look at her. I'm gonna check her head and see if it needs to be readjusted, because to me she looks like a she has a really long head here. Um, then I'll give it. It'll give me a chance to show you guys how she comes apart. Uh, what these wigs have in them is like okay, so. Her wig itself, I'll just start with that. Her wig itself is more of a, I don't know, a really pale pink. With a neon blue striping in the bangs. The bangs do have product in them, just a little bit, but they're still really soft. And then there's a little streak that goes down the side here. Her hair is wicked soft, guys. Um, let me just remove her wig here. So in her wig, she has this little, it's all weaved into a rubber into a rubber um, wig base I guess you want to call it it's all weaved in there and then there is a rubber peg hole right here where it goes in the back of this insert here so this clear insert is removable so in case you ever it, and it's clear and rubber in case you ever want to pull it off and put a different hair on your girl it does come right off I don't know if I can do it with one hand so it's basically like the other side of her head it gives her head that round look so you can peg hole it in um, I had to realign it a little bit because her head was looking really, really weird. Um, so let's do that. And then we'll get on to looking at her outfit. First off, let me just start off by saying I'm not a huge fan of how this wig fits her head. It gives her like a, a long head for some reason. I don't like it. But it kind of has a helmet effect. Moving on. She has a cute face here with uh, a dark blue eye. If I can get this to focus at all. And then she has those cool little cyborg, cyborg white stripes with little balls on them that go on top of her purple eyeshadow. Her eyes are looking uh, to the right. And she has a really light frosted, like blue type lips. 
that are puckering. She has this cool poncho on that's a bit transparent. It's almost like a a flashy tool. And you can see all the different colors of rainbows in a metallic color that go um, diagonal all the way, all on both sides. Underneath her poncho, she has what I believe to be a brand new torso. That orange there. It's orange, and then it has like a little bit of a red type um, built on necklace. Her pants we've seen before in a different color. In fact, we have them right here. I'll show you guys. They're right there. That one has a little bit more of a cooler paint detail. And this one, well, it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, but it's just purple. Nothing else. And we have seen these boots before as well in another series. In fact, I might actually have them in front of me as well. Uh, the color's different, though. So we have a shimmery pink base with a shimmery, almost transparent silver. And uh, these are the other boots right here. Those are definitely the same boots. Different color, so I guess we can live with it. Considering she was more more of like the add-on. I don't know if she's considered. I don't know if she's considered the add-on or the main attraction. But I mean, I would definitely see her as a main attraction almost because she has uh, the hair the upgrade, and you know that's a new thing for this series. So I don't know, or this collection because it's I think it's still the same series. But if it is the same series, I guess they can get away with reusing. Uh, I guess they can. We can kind of give them a break when it comes to reusing the same molds. Oh, and she has this cool purse here that is pink, and it is a, a large, basically, version of the dial that they have on the back of their necks, and this dial itself here. So, um, yeah, and it has a mock chain uh, shoulder strap here that's done in a metallic silver. So we'll give her that. You, you can live there. We're going to go ahead and take out our insert here. Let's pick up our box and push and pull out our door, per usual. Uh, I guess we didn't need that door. Excuse me. And then here is our... We just looked at this one already, and I explained to you guys what's going on. So I'm going to get one of three of the, gir of the girls or boys that were shown on the picture. They are friends, though, but they're surprise friends. Oh, uh, sorry, guys. I just had one of my capsule chicks bungee jump without the bungee. She's okay, though, just so you know. Here is our first capsule of the video. And um, in case that you didn't remember me or didn't watch the other videos of me explaining, this is the color of this series. is a like a light turquoise color. A light green-blue. I feel like this has to be my torso. Yep, it is. Okay, um, I don't know. This, oh, I hope this is the boy. But I'm not sure. So we have a sweater here. We have a turquoise sweater. Um, and the sleeves, the neckline, and the waistline are all done in a metallic yellowy green color. So, that's the first one. And it looks like both, both of my hands are the right on, the right hands. If you guys recall one of my last videos, I ended up with one of my capsule chicks with two left hands or two right hands. Let's see if I can get this to even come down. Okay. Oh, here's our second one. Okay. Well, here's a brush here. For our girl here so that we can maybe brush out some of that product maybe tame that cone head that she's got going on we have two stands uh, stand tops one for her and one for our next mystery person I don't, I don't want to say girl or boy because I don't want to get myself uh, set up for disaster um, it looks like our person here has a very light uh, lip liner and that's it and gray eyes and some thick black eyebrows so I think I'm excited I'm excited I think I got a boy 
That would be awesome if I get two out of the three boys. Yes. Alright, so here's my third one coming out, if I can get it out. There it is. This is a softer pink bag here. Oh, here's the boy. I think this is the boy. Well, I don't know yet. So we have glasses here. Transparent dark turquoise that are uh, painted in the front with a, I guess, like a hmm, like a greenish gold metallic paint. Interesting. And we have a light. Oh, it's got a little sparkle in a little shimmer. I guess that's why they call it Shimmer Surge, right? It almost looks like that could be shaved right there, guys. And a little bit of gold highlight in the front up there. Or goldish green. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, guys. And here's our next one here. There's our legs. Yes! All right. Okay, so we have the... It's a it's a metallic... Ah, is it going to go up here? Show up! It's painted metallic silver. And you can see there's a big pocket there. And then there's the uh, buttons in the front. And you can see the belt that goes around. And that's in a metallic yellow color. Almost gold. Oh my goodness. We got the boy, guys. I'm so excited. And then naked legs, of course. What I don't like, though, is... And I, and I, and I know why they did it. Because there's only three boys in this series. Or in, the, in this collection. So uh, it, it would have wouldn't have been cost effective to create a complete new torso, I mean a complete new legs. But it's kind of funny because the girls have kind of a sticky sticky butt, so all the boys have like a bubble butts, which you know, it, you know it's a thing in real life. So I guess we could have all bubble butt boys. But uh, for the most part, the way they have the clothing set up, it's not really too noticeable. Let me get this one open. Uh, Okay, so this has to be our shoes. There's our bracelet. There's our shoes. And here's our man purse. It's like a tote bag. Because, you know, boys can have tote bags. Reusable shopping bags. Oh, it's got moose all It's got little moose heads on it. It's a reusable moose toys bag. That's so awesome, and it and you can see that it's a sh done in a shimmery, um, silver there, and then it's painted silver on the top, so it looks really really nice. So, I like that they added a little bit of their own little branding in there. So let's get him together, and then I'll show you uh, the two of them together, and uh, we'll get a final look. Okay, guys, so here they are together. I have to say, <laughs> all right. I really love his boots. I didn't show you guys a close-up of them already. They remind me of, like, Doc Martens, but in a silver tone. And then they have the yellow laces, and the yellow laces are laced all the way up to the top. And apparently, like most boots, there wasn't a, there was a lot of lace left over, so he just wrapped them right around his boots here and then tied them. The sunglasses are kind of... Weird. They 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 fit them. They're a little bit loose. I think they should have been a little bit of a tighter fit, but I get it. Okay. Um. And his watch communication device device. It doesn't fit very well over his sleeve because his sleeves are thick. But you can finagle it enough to get it on there. I'm not sure if it will fall off or not, but um, it's pretty good. It's pretty sturdy on there. So I'm gonna put him next to her. I'm pretty excited about this collection. I'm probably not going to be buying any more unless they go on super, super sale because, well, I, I don't I don't really want to get doubles on purpose. Like, they, they do that with Shopkins sometimes where you just want, you, you're, you're wanting to buy more because you're wanting more chances to get certain things. But, uh, yeah, so um, that'll probably be it for this collection. I don't know if there's more coming out. I would think there'd be more coming out because I think a majority of people, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, let me know below. Are you guys planning on buying more? Are you guys planning on getting duplicates of her? So you can try and get all three of these guys? Um, let me know below uh, what you think of them. Uh, are they something that you guys would be... That you guys like? Like, I don't know. I, I like them. But uh, I'm a total fangirl for these capsule chicks. I, I think that their idea 
and their gimmick is amazing, and I will continue to support them as long as they continue to be good quality, and, well, it's, it's Moose Toys, so it's going to be good quality. Uh, if you liked this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.